Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Android 7.1 smartphone with a 5.2 inch display. And so when you're using certain apps like Google Chrome, it can be a little bit hard to reach the top of the screen for things like that location bar when you are using just a single hand. Now with a 5.2 inch screen, this is actually one of the smaller Android phones that have been re released in recent years. And there are many with 5.5 inch screens and some with six inch screens, uh, and screen sizes just seem to be getting larger and larger and ultra widescreen displays are becoming common, which puts the screen, the top of the screen even farther away. So when you're navigating using something like the Google Chrome web browser here, being able to reach up and hit that navigation bar can be a little bit difficult. So Google has actually started to redevelop Chrome to put the navigation at the bottom of the screen. So if you install the latest Chrome developer version, which is available from the Google Play Store, you'll see that we've got navigation down here at the bottom. Now this is the full screen new tab page where the URL bar is at the top, but then it moves to the bottom once a page opens up. And when you start scrolling, you can see that it disappears and reappears when you sort of scroll back a little bit. So from the bottom of the screen with a single hand, it should be easier to access your menus, tab page, and the new tab page only takes up half screen by default, which is actually kind of nice because it makes it again easier to reach the location bar, your shortcuts, and other features here with a single hand. Now, if you want, you can scroll up and get it to go full screen, but you don't have to use it in full screen, you can use it in part screen here. And there's also a downloads bar, a bookmarks bar, and a history bar. And again, any of these can go full screen if you want them to. Now again, Everything sort of scrolls up when the keyboard opens, but that's because at this point you don't need to be able to touch the top of the screen in order to write something like lpxshow.com. So that's just a quick look at the difference between the current stable version of Chrome and the Chrome developer version as of June 15th, 2017. The, uh, the tabs at the bottom user interface is probably something that we're gonna to start to see in more Google applications, but uh, Chrome is definitely pretty much uh, one of the most important applications that Google loads onto Android devices. And so just to give you a quick look one more time here, that's at the top in the latest stable version and at the bottom in the developer version, it'll probably make its way to beta and then stable versions of Chrome in the future and it makes single-handed navigation just a little bit easier. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, I guess, is that it is a little odd, I think, that your navigation is now near your back home and recents buttons. And so it's possible that when you try to switch tabs, you might accidentally go and hit the Android recents button. It's possible that when you try to enter the URL, you might accidentally hit home or back. But so far in the time that I've been experimenting with this, it doesn't seem to happen that often. It's, uh, it's reasonably easy to make sure that you're hitting the right spot. And again, that's partly because Everything's down there at the bottom where it's fairly easy to hit with a single finger. So that's a look at the tabs at the bottom, navigation at the bottom version of Google Chrome. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.